Hi, ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Marcus here again, spokesman and advocate of basic human rights for all people. <clears throat> I want to talk about ugly for a moment, if I may. I got notes I'm going to refer to, okay? Oftentimes you hear voices and they are saying things like uh, the system is fake. They say that the government is fake. They say that democracy is fake and that there is always someone advocating change. Change that is worse than the norm as evidenced by the Republicans and Donald Trump. The biggest joke in town is Donald Trump. Yet there's a bigger joke than Donald Trump. And that is those that follow him. I thought about Donald Trump tonight. I but I think they, there's a gentleman, there's something that want to be gentle about him. But he appears to be rotten to the core. And yet, I think about the fact that he didn't create himself. This is what his dad produced. Now, to some, that's absolutely fantastic. But when it comes down to righteousness and love, it's way off the mark. Anyway, <clears throat> when you start talking about a corrupt system, blacks have always known the failures of the system. They've always known democracy. They've always known the United States. Ever since the lie about, you know, they use the scripture too. All men created equal. Ain't that something? Ratified by the United States Constitution. Or should I say by U.S. democracy. Though we Americans, like all nations, is a big, fat lie. As far as blacks are concerned, yet we are not trying to destroy it. America. We want justice flowing like a mighty Russian stream. Blacks are not concerned about getting even. We want righteousness. This is Eva's claim that there will never be any of that happening here. Let me kind of clear that up, ladies and gentlemen. What I'm saying is this. I also heard at a, some scenes, I guess, some video from a rally <coughs> that Trump and his group were doing. And you know you got everybody said stand up and people speak and they tell jokes and they make fun of people. And uh, they denounce uh, the America. And then they start praying to God and telling God that they're going to take care of the business. You know, they are going to uh, free America and make America as they see America to be. And not only are they going to make that change? They're going to guarantee that change because they got their guns and they're not going to take anything and they're going to start putting people in prison. They're going to, they want to do all kinds of stuff that have been considered something that they never want to happen to them. And you think about that, ladies and gentlemen. Think about that. And this man is praying to God. Come on, help Trump. Help Trump. Let me ask you this. Have you ever heard any of them talk about love? Have you ever heard any of them talk about, wait a minute. Now, I just thought, yes, you've heard them talk about love, but I'm not, and, you, and when I say that, you've heard them talk about God, but I'm not talking about the same God. They don't know love, and anybody that out there says they know love, it's just lying.
just plain old deed lying. Even though they might think they do, even though they have probably put their lives on the line, they do not know love. Let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen, about the, the God of love requires that those who are connected with that spirit recognizes that the joy and the happiness and the peace and the prosperity and the dreams fulfilled, the needs, wants, and desires met that every human being on earth feels was designed from the beginning of time. And no man connected with God feel any solace sitting back watching people suffer, watching people lying, cheating, stealing, and killing, watching people abuse one another, trying to survive, knowing that a, this system, every system of the world is designed to deny the truth. Every system of the world is de designed to profit some people at the expense of others. All of the resources of the earth that are used to do everything that is done was given free, but somebody's using them, benefiting from them while the rest of you suffer. And they talk about love. When I speak to you, I'm speaking to you about you. Every last one of you having your needs. And you know what makes it so wonderful? People talk about welfare. People talk about upset about people giving. <clears throat> That's because they're ignorant. They don't know what the hell they're talking about. What they're talking about is stuff that reflects their ignorance. See, the truth of the matter is that this magnificent power that was able to put all of these resources here, knowing that you're going to need them, also gave you a gift so you can participate in the process of creating the resources that rest in the reservoir of goods and services and do it in such an abundance and include so many people, all of us, that there will be no one suffering for anything. See, that's the God of love can tell you that. Nobody's suffering for anything. Anything that any rich man can do, that's what you can do, and even so much more. But you're not competing. Why? Because everybody got the same kinds of freedom to do what they want to do. You ever heard Trump tell you that? You ever heard a Republican tell you that? You ever heard a Democrat tell you that? No. Why? Because they didn't know it. Why am I telling you that? Because somebody told me, what, the spirit of God? Or should I say the spirit of love? And I'm glad to tell you, because I know it'll work. I know it'll work. But see, people who got money have put their faith in money. And they say to hell with that. There were a few people who have tried this, you know. But the world is evil. The world will kill folks who talk about and try to do, try to persuade people to see things different. And the people will see this and by fear or dwindle, what's the word? I don't know the word, dwindle and succumb to that fear and walk around with the tail between their legs talking about somebody going to save them one day when they won't even save themselves. When you don't save yourselves, you're doing the same thing that people who are running from Pain and suffering in their countries. They're saying they're being persecuted and they're trying to run somewhere and find somebody to help them, another country to help them. That's the same thing. People who will sit up here and watch stuff go along. And if they know it, do nothing. There's no way in the face of the earth that people should be suffering. There's no way in the face of the earth we should be paying for health care. There's no way in the face of the earth we should be paying for education. There's no way in the face of the earth we should be doing. Because the things we do and those who are doing to get their greatest joy, that's the benefit of living. No, I know when you out there doing anything, trying to make some money, you don't understand joy. You just trying to make you some money so you can survive. But I'm telling you, you can change the system and allow yourself to have that career that gives you every day, every night. You are you. Ain't no shame there nowhere. And the world loves you because the world needs you and you need the world to be who you are. Let me let this thing go. Y'all ain't getting it. I'm sitting up here with Donald Trump on the TV looking like he out of his mind. Talking stuff. Talking stuff. Talking stuff. He ain't got nothing off of the people. I feel so sad for you because y'all still believe it. Goodbye.